You too. It's way too early in the morning for this. It's actually like 8 a.m. But she's wound up and ready to go. Thanks again to Farmers Business Network for supporting what we do over on this channel. Head over there to FBN.com where membership is free. You can find everything from land financing and health insurance to seed and chemicals. This week we have 75,000 bushels to haul out with these trucks, which means that this truck with the shiny polished up red and the nice wheels is gonna have to get dirty. It has to be done. But first, I have to push a little bit of snow around the yard. Around the yard. Almost, Anna. We're almost there. Not quite yet. We're day near to a million subscribers, which means I'm starting to get pretty nervous that I'm actually gonna have to let that furry German Shepherd inside one of the tractors. There's not a lot out here, but it did blow in enough so that you're not gonna move empty trucks around on it. But it's kind of wind packed tight and it's not real deep, so instead of using the blower, I'm just gonna do the whole thing with the push bucket. Pushing. I'm excited, a little bit excited for this stuff to melt and then we can start moving these fuel tanks, pouring concrete, putting a new bin in right there. I don't mind the snow around right now for snowmobiling purposes, but I am pretty pumped to get that new bin started. Dad's actually home from down south right now, so he's gonna be around all week to help us haul. And I gotta take Onyx to hockey right now. He's got a hockey game an hour up the road, so Dad's actually gonna finish pushing the yard and I'm gonna take care of family stuff. Morning. How are you doing? Good. Yeah, half, I suppose. There's not a lot here, so it pushes easy. Yeah. Off to hockey. Six to three victory. That worked out. But now it's 3.30 in the afternoon. I know dad's got one truck ready and loaded. He's got the snow cleared. Just gotta get a couple more ready and loaded. Well, he must figure the shiny one is ready. He's dragging a trailer brake. There it goes. You were dragging a trailer brake, but it broke loose. Good. Um, are the tires good on this trailer too? I have not checked this one. Okay. I got that one before I loaded it. And then I saw you drive in, I figured I'd load this one while you're checking the other one. Okay. This is the one that we checked two weeks ago, right? Not on the trailer though. I hate checking tires on semis, but I've mentioned that many times. That one's good. That helps. I just don't enjoy it. They're so many of them. So tires are done, got the trailer plugged in again. There's always some of these hopper bearings that are a problem because they get so much gravel and salt in them. Our winter roads are just hard on them and plus these trucks just do a lot of gravel time anyway. So the bearings on the hopper get bad. But those ones are easy to change. The ones that are not easy to change are, are these ones right here. See, and this one's not actually bad. It's just kind of, well, it's missing. And I'm pretty sure Jim and I replaced all those bearings on two of the trailers a couple years ago. This is probably the third trailer that we didn't do that on. So, we might just have to keep a close eye on that one. Then they gotta hold that one? No, there we go. You gotta hold the button at the right amount of time before letting it go or it's not automatic. Not much in there, but enough to make a mess. Oh, a little bit of water. Must've been a little snow and ice on this one when I parked it in here. Oh, all it did was get my workspace wet. Not too bad. I just want to climb under here and take a look at these. Make sure none of them are gone. I've replaced quite a few of them the last couple of years. We just keep them on hand. They're easy to do. These ones all actually look really good. Like, really good when I can turn them by hand. So these are the bearings I'm checking right here. A lot of times those will lock up and get bad, but this one, it's got the seal out, so this is the one. The same as back there. This one's about to go out too. But those ones are a lot more work than these ones. Which probably means that they're gonna wait until after this week and we're just gonna watch it because they'll work without it. And it really shouldn't wreck much stuff. And then we'll add it to the list that Jim and I need to do in the shop here in the next couple of weeks. Or you know, whenever. Now this is the moment of truth here. We've gotten by today on the other two trucks without using a battery charger. Of course. Why wouldn't it fire right up? Last time I had to move this truck, those batteries were stone dead and it was like 10 below out. And I had to put the charger on it overnight and plug the truck in just to get it to turn over. And 
Now she fires right up. Looks like Onyx and the mini pipe layer have got the snowmobiles out. That's good for them. Need to wash this window. I didn't think of that. Well, somewhere in the last couple of hours, I set my camera down and kind of forgot it in the shed, but long story short, the trucks are all full on diesel and on corn, and they're ready to go for the morning, so I'm gonna let those boys keep riding. I did build them a couple jumps, by the way, as any good parent should. Anyway, we'll see you in the morning. Ah, uh, good morning. Uh, I actually wasn't planning on making a video today. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon, but Todd, FBN Todd, decided to get one of our trucks stuck in the ditch right at the end of the driveway. It's actually not his fault. It's raining out, the road is icy. You mix the two with an unloaded truck. When I went down just to take a look at him, I slid the dually into the ditch too, so. We're gonna pull it out and take you guys along with us. It shouldn't take much. Empty trucks move pretty easily, so I'm just gonna get the rope wrapped up here somehow or another. I was actually gonna wait until tomorrow to finish this video. Mostly just because the weather's kind of miserable and it was our first day hauling with three trucks, but since Todd has given me a reason to make some content, a good opportunity to make fun of him, and it's not my fault, I guess I see this as an opportunity for all of us, just not for Todd. I don't know if the camera picks it up or not, but if you look in the direction of this guy over here doing some fancy stuff on ice, because his real passion is figure skating, you'll see where the truck is halfway in the ditch. I promise I won't put it on the internet. Yeah, I'm sure not. <laughs> where else would that be hiding? You didn't find it in the back? We'll find something to hook to. A mirror or something. See, when you work with us, one thing you'll learn is you gotta set the camera yeah. through a park. Yeah, set the Say they're correct. Whoops, sorry. All right, please fall. Please fall now. Come on, fall down. Dang it. I'll keep the camera on me in case I fall. Sorry guys, I made it in the tractor safely. You got your diff lock on at all? Try again. I don't want to yank it too hard because I'm not around it in a real great spot. I'll get a different angle here and give you a little harder pull this time. Oh, he moved. Now we got ice pellets coming down. There we go. Now. Okay, tractor's sliding into the side of the driveway. We did it! <laughs> I couldn't even stop the tractor on the driveway, it was sliding. I thought you, I thought you were coming in. <laughs> <laughs> that would have made an even better video, huh? Soft shackles from Yankum Ropes. There's a link in the description. Good stuff. Not just the shackles, but the ropes in general, everything they got. A road turns into pure ice. I was 10 seconds away from trying to get a hold of you on the radio. I just pulled uh, Todd out of the ditch at the end of the driveway. So he's sitting here, be real careful. You will not be able to stop. Well, I slid past by the church, slid past down the hill, a little bit of hill, going two miles an hour. And now I'm still heading past the guy and get back to 55 and come around and hit the street because I couldn't even back up. I'm going to back this thing into this shed here since I had this door open because I loaded that grain cart. I'll get this thing out of the rain at least. It probably wouldn't be a complete shock if we need it again today because we got two more trucks out there yet. One of them apparently slid past the intersection to on the gravel road but at the other end of it. So now he's going to end up two miles in the wrong direction because he couldn't stop. That's all right. Nobody's hurt. Everybody's safe. Trucks are good. We're going to load Todd up here and probably, I don't know, with the ice pellets coming down now, we're probably going to call it a day. 
It must be 2.30, 3 o'clock. 2.30. If either of you had thumbs, I'd enlist your help. So you're lucky. Dang lucky. What'd you say? I'll let my editor handle that one. Dad said he's doing 65 on the highways, so it's up to you if you want to go again or not. It's 40 minutes or so. It just, it's really just a matter of if you got the balls or not. <laughs> well, there's, there's one truck. He's in. He made it through the hard part. Tell him to the Hug the east. I honestly don't know if the camera's picking it up now or not, but it's uh, it's coming down pretty good, like mix of ice pellets and rain. So Todd decided to stay home with his truck. He's gonna take off here. I got the second truck loaded now, and Dad's on his way back. We got all three trucks loaded now, and now I'm stuck with this one, even though I'm full. Let's see if I can get a better angle here. I can go backwards down the hill. Can I go forwards up the hill? I got my diff lock on and I'm loaded, so. There we go. Just stuck in the dent. As I was saying, they're all loaded up. Now we're just gonna top them all off with fuel so it's done. We don't have to worry about it tomorrow. It sounds like the weather's a lot nicer tomorrow. Not warmer, but it's not supposed to rain and snow. So, kind of figure everything's in good shape now. We got all three trucks home and in the yard. Instead of risking it, let's just park them in the shop full and get an early start tomorrow morning. I thought maybe this might make a cool shot. Let's see how this turns out. That turned out to be a cool shot. Well, the third truck, third and final one, is full on diesel, and it's kind of quit raining, but everything's icy now, and they close the scale at the ethanol plant in 10 minutes anyway, and it's a 40-minute drive, so we're done for the day, out here anyway. Unless he's stuck. I see he backed up 50 feet, 60 feet, 70 feet. Come on, go forward. Come on. There we go, there we go. Those Yankum ropes are good ropes, but you don't need to use them all the time if you don't have to. Shot to get 15 loads and 15 would rain. probably be, I don't think we've ever gotten 16, have we? I don't think we ever have gotten 16. Not, no. not down there. You know, I think we've only gotten 15. A few a times. times. yeah. A lot of times 13 or 14. So. 12 today? 12, yeah. And easily you would have been 14 easy and the yeah. 15th one would have been. I think the 15th one would have. Especially if we pulled it out of the grain cart. But yeah, when you had the grain cart already, it would have. Well, it's kind of just a nice evening now. Not bad at all, and it actually looks fairly clear to the west. Whatever, I guess. Good day overall. We got 12 loads in. We got about, depending on how heavy we get them, probably another... Uh, 50 to go, at least. Feel 55, at least. Heads up, Anna. Coming down. There, it automatically slows at the end so it doesn't slam too hard. I like that. You like that too, Anna? Hey, Anna, we're getting pretty close to a million subs. It means you gotta pick your tractor. Which one are you gonna get a ride in? Hey, answer me, I'm talking to you. I don't think she's too fussy, but I'm thinking it's gonna be easier to get in one of the RTs because it's got the platform. And she doesn't have thumbs, so she, she's not very good at climbing ladders. And she's, she's just as heavy as she looks, so to have me carry her up there, she's gonna be all wiggly and wound up and 
She, she doesn't want a tractor ride as much as you guys think she does. She's gonna hate it. But that's gonna make good video content too. Isn't that right, dog? Yep. <laughs> Once again, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out our second channel called Between the Rows, which is linked down below, and uh, have yourselves a wonderful day.